One man hoping to be in the seats behind me on June the 29th is Luis Aragones, and the Spain coach has made a pretty decent start looking ahead to their final match against Greece. Vamos, España, con alma y dignidad. The tranquil surroundings of the Sportplatz Kampel in Neustift gives ample opportunity for reflection and when Luis Aragones looks back at the Spanish start to Euro 2008, he might afford himself a small smile. Successive wins means the pressure is lifted on Spain with Greece still to play in the final round of games. It's important to us as well. First of all, I respect all the teams and above all Greece because they are the defending champion. You are right. We will give some players the possibility to rest, to the ones who played every single minute. And we will do some changes. But we will take it as serious as being a final match. Chief among the players who could be on the preservation list ahead of the knockout phase are Fernando Torres and tournament top scorer David Veer. The coach knows his team were given a stiff workout by Sweden in their last game that will stand them in good stead for the last eight. Not with regard to toughness, but with regard to difficulty. We had our difficulties. First of all, because Sweden knew us perfectly from the qualification rounds. They played a very direct football, and this doesn't fit us well. Also because of them being so tall. So we had difficulties in the first 20 minutes to get into the match. The second half went differently after having talked in the locker room. We dominated the match and dominated with opportunities. Spain haven't won the European Championship for 44 years, but Aragones gains his motivation from more recent international disappointment. First of all, it's because I don't like to lose. And secondly, because it hurt the most in our match against France at the World Cup. We were at the same level, and in the 82nd minute, they went ahead because of a stupid mistake of us, and we were sent home. This hurts, of course.